Hello and welcome back to Chronicle. As usual, I've got a few packs to open. I really like to keep the pack opening for inside the video at the very start. It's kind of nice, I think. It does take some time to get the credits involved with the tokens. Because, yeah, if you get a quest that only gives 30 gold as a daily quest. Ooh, the uh, epic quest tomorrow. Okay, I should keep that in mind. Yeah. If you get a daily quest that's only 30 and the next day 50, yeah, it doesn't usually work that much. So, opening packs. What do we have this time around? Let's see. Dazing Shots. Okay. Exiled Calphite Paragon. Ooh. Nasty versus Linza. Lesser Demon Battle Rifle. There's a battle, not strike. That uh, still could be decent, you got two golds. We have... Oh my god, I have fought against this thing and oh my... God, how annoying that thing is. Karam, spend your weapon and rival loses two attack. I was playing as Raptor. I was building up attack and suddenly I lose two attack permanently. Now, one attack is the lowest that you can get. But still, that is a heavy hit. A really heavy hit. And Ogre Chieftain. Rifle takes damage equal to the total attack plus four. Ooh, <laughs> that's painful. That's not really anything that I can absolutely use in one of my current decks. So, maybe later. Next booster. We have... Bar fight. Both legends lose two weapon durability, battle rifle. So basically a free battle rifle if you have no weapon durability. So maybe on the raptor? Shug, your next enemy's attack and health are swapped. Could be interesting, but a bit of a niche uh, use. Not always useful. We have Archmate Sedridar. Rival's next enemy gains two health and two attack. Oh, how much Ariana has tormented me with this card. Captain Rovin, an emerald card, very nice. Your next support is free. Cool. And Full Tetsu, 7 armor, 7 health for 5 coins. Eh, it could be better, it could be better. But still, nice. And pack number 3. Still no diamond cards. And I'm almost sure that we won't get a diamond card in this pack. Archman Cedridor. Weapon Poison. King Black Dragon. Cool, that's a lot of gold. Uh, Gluttonous Behemoth, that's the second one I got. And Slam for a Raptor. Rifle takes 5 damage and loses full weapon durability. Painful. But still, not really anything that I can use as of right now. 40 new cards, so let's clear them up in here. There we go, full Tetsu. And... no. Get back, there we go. That's one. That is... Two, that's three. That's four, that's five. Okay, Raptor, you had Slam, so let's do that. Linsa, you got Karam, Ariana got Archmage Cedridor, and you got Dazing Shots, and one minion, Captain Roven. Okay, uh, now I want to go to crafting. Thresh all extras. I did not do that last time. I totally forgot about that. So we get 120 sapphires and one classic token. So that's about oh six cards. Oh okay, good enough. There we go. That's a nice amount. Soon I can get an emerald card or a ruby card. So this is going nicely. This is going very nicely. Okay. Um. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Ozan. I still dislike him, but the deck I've got right now it is pretty fast in killing the opponent. Well, it has a very high chance to kill the opponent in turn two, so yeah. 
Um, let's see. Let's go with the raptor. I like the raptor. Now, the next updates for Chronicle, as far as I know, as far as I have read, will be next week, Tuesday, which will be the 15th of December. So, yeah. No changes yet to the cards uh, at play. There is a new meta uprising right now, though. A lot of players are using grief decks. And with grief decks, I mean stealing health, or, well, stealing health, um, stealing attack, or decreasing it, like, uh, uh, what was the card again? Uh, for Linza, Dust Devil, for example, or Ogre Chieftain, or something along those lines. Those cards are just very strong and very disruptive. Also, a lot of cards for Ozan, for example, where he steals the enemy's gold. Oh, you want to buy a Saradome and Godsword? Well, sorry, you are missing the required amount of gold because I just stole it with Bob the Cat. That kind of stuff. So, I wonder what they are going to do about that because it is really really annoying very strong and I don't really know how to counter play that much and one thing also for sure if you are going first you have a lot more chance to actually break the opponents like that at least that's my experience could be totally different for others but my experience is, if the other player goes first, with a grief deck, you are usually going to get messed up a Looks lot. Like I'm going first. Okay, we get Skeleton Warrior, and I'm looking for some extra... Oh, I can use these two. I can use those two pretty well. Um, okay, if I do this... What am I gonna get? Uh, ooh, okay, that's interesting. Now, I don't want to use the KPG agent just yet. Well, technically I should. No, 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 no. Um, rock cake, draw four cards, and... No. I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna do it like this. I lose 8 health in total. I have to discard 1 card, but I get 4 extra. So we are at 6 cards once we finish. Now we are gonna lose one of these. It would be bad if we lost the White Wolf. Knowing my chances, we will lose the White Wolf. But that shouldn't offer too much of an issue. We will end up with 4 attack if everything goes according to plan. So, let's see. At least if we have that four armor for the war toys. If we get there, we will. Ha we should have enough. And it looks like we will have enough because she is going to deal five damage before we do anything. So that's good. So we take 10 damage in this round, or this part, which is not really that much of a problem right now. Here we go. That's where it's gonna get nasty. That's where it's really gonna get nasty. We are not going to draw those four cards for the war twice. Uh. Nope. There goes the entire plan. Yeah, that's a shame. That is a real shame. Should have used it earlier, though. Eh, you learn with experience, and you, with experience, you make mistakes. Huh. Okay, that was not what I had in mind. I was supposed to have nine cards now, and I end with four. Yeah, I can't do too much here. 
I could use the ice nail, but that's gonna make me take seven damage at least once. And what do I get in return? Seven armor packs. No thanks. Not right now. Although I do get a one gold, but eh, no, no, no. Yeah, I was hoping for something better. He is going for the full attack. Wow. You can discard a lot of cards like that, so. Dear God. Yup, okay, this turn is already game over. Wow. Absolutely wow. I've never been beaten this fast. Really impressive. Wow. Of course, we had a bad start there, so let's hope that goes differently this time around. Because we can do better than that. We can absolutely do better than that. So maybe I should keep the card draw as the very first priority. If we get that combination of rock cake and water tortoise, use it directly. That seems like the best of idea. And for some reason the time for finding an opponent in casual mode has been increasing a lot lately. So I have no idea what the idea behind that is, but eh, not much we can do about it. So that leaves the question, what should we do in between these moments? I have no idea. I don't know if the next episode will also contain opening a lot of packs because, yeah, only four tokens. I don't make an episode each and every day for this because I would like to have a, a, at least one pack to open. Most likely two. I want to have two at least. So, yeah, with the standard gold you get. I keep saying gold. Standard tokens you get each day, although the epic quest is also going to help, so yeah. God, it's really taking long. Why is it taking so long? I wanna play. <laughs> That's the disadvantage of a closed beta. Not everyone has a key, not everyone is playing. Eh, oh well. But yeah, I really wonder where this game is going to be in a few months of time. I mean, look at how, how popular Hearthstone is. A lot of people play Hearthstone. How many will be playing Chronicle? So again versus an Ariana. Please first make your okay, we got first blood, nice. Well, look. <laughs> Uh, gain gold equal to half your next enemy's attack. Not yet. I would like to keep that. Too soon, too soon. Not that useful. My god, we are having a bad start. How can I be of service, friend of Um, no, too early. Way too early. Okay, let's do this. See what happens. We end with four cards, so that means seven cards at the start of the next turn. Although this deck still has a very big risk involving you taking a lot of damage in order to get what you want. And first an Ariana who has access to Rifle Loser's health cards. That's going to be very difficult. Now of course you are taking a lot of damage in return to only deal that 6 health to me. That's not worth it. That is absolutely not worth it. Welcome. It is good to see you again. I don't really know what's going on here. Because those decisions 
that Ariane just made are decisions I would never make. <laughs> I mean, never throw yourself that low in the first turn. I did not attack. I did not attack at all. Of course, she has a chance to heal and stuff with uh, Lady Heaven and that kind of stuff. Could be that we have a beginner here, but... Still. Ooh. Yes, I like this, this looks of you. Okay, if I do this... Then... I would like to... Do that. Do that. And then let's... Eh, should, should we bash? Should we bash? She's not that likely to use... That kind of stuff. Uh, I am gonna heal up though. She is going for the heavy on attack to me. Again. Interesting. It's nice to see different decks. See how stuff plays out. Now, give me seven armor, thank you. We're gonna get a lot of armor. Nope, not gonna happen. Uh. Ooh, okay, that Dragon Longsword is going to be history in the very next turn. Because I have a bash, it's a good thing I kept it though. I was thinking maybe use it as the final card in this turn, but what were the chances of her getting a weapon before that? None. Well. Maybe there was a chance, but no, not really. Anyway, Sardom and Brew brought us back up to 29 health. Very nice. We still have one attack left. So let's see what this turn brings. I am gonna destroy that weapon, or at least get near destroying it. Lose two weapon durability. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, and I don't have the gold for it. Okay, I guess we won't bash her face in. We will bash her face in like this, I guess. And let's get some extra... Ah, uh, no. Hmm. I don't have the gold for anything right now. You're gonna take a lot of damage like this. Of course, it's not gonna be enough, and we are also gonna take quite some damage through that dual tournament. But she will be to one health now. So. Okay, never mind. I should rethink my strategy. Maybe a tiny bit. Maybe a teeny tiny bit. Silver chest, nice. And always the same. Very low amount of crafting sapphires. Always. My victory was inevitable. Okay. I think we can do one more. Let's go with Ozan. See if we can get lucky. Get a quick kill in. Although I really need to be lucky with that. <laughs> but yeah, this Ozan deck also makes use of the Bob the Cat card, so... Pay one gold and steal four gold from the opponent. Of course, the opponent needs to have four gold, but... Even if they have only two gold, you already profit with one coin. So that is the most important part. Plus you steal two gold of them. Two gold that they maybe want to use for a Saradom God Sword. And that is where grieving is very powerful. You base your turn on having that god sword or the dragon long sword to have that taken away from you at that moment a moment you don't expect it to happen you can't really predict when the opponent is going to take everything away from you you just can't and that is the most difficult part how are you gonna fight against that now again on ariana wow What's up with the mages today? Too many mages. Ooh. Looks like I'm going first. Okay, that's also nice. 
Uh, we have a lot of gold. Um, not yet. Not yet. And maybe. Ooh, dead shot. I like to have that in the very first turn. I really like having that one. Now, of course, I have been encountering one big trouble, one very big trouble with this deck. And that problem is Fishing Trawler. What happens with Fishing Trawler is you basically restore both heroes' health back to 30. Or restore by 15 points. No, it fully restores. And it's only 4 gold or something. But yeah, if you face a deck like mine in that case, you take a lot of damage in the meantime and then you just negate it. Just while you think you can uh, deliver the killing blow. Alchemy. Uh, I can't really remember what that card did. But here, have a death shot. There you go. I don't need anything back. You can keep the rest of the damage on your side. See? Another presence. With that death shot. And maybe two of those desert snakes, you can bring an opponent to 10 HP. That is so painful. Although I did give her 8 golds right now. So I'm really hoping to get a Bob the Cat right now. Really hoping for that. Because I might have done goofed here a tiny bit. Teeny tiny bit. Giving Ariana gold and cards. Yes, spot the cats! Just in time! Now, So that should give me enough for that. Then we can hit her in the face. And that's what that's it. That's it. That's it. Not gonna do anything else. Now you will see what Bob the Cat can do when it comes to annoying the opponent a lot. At least that is if she is going to use a lot of spell cards. So if the first thing she does is Earth Blast, she can't use it. And of course playing fast with cards is also very nice because you really up the pressure on that point. Of course, still enough time to think things through, but there is a limit. Next spell is free. Okay, you are going to get one free attack. Okay, that's okay for me. Wait. Oh, wow! Your next spell is free, not your next support card. Oh, I did not think about that. In this case, this was a bad move for her because the card, Wind Strike, is already free. Who? I did not think about that way of working. Huh. That's really interesting. That is really interesting. Because, yeah, that says a spell. Huh. I really thought that card would also work on just any general blue support card, but I guess I was wrong there. Huh. Go figure. Not to know that I won't make that same mistake. Yeah, gotta do it. Then we do this, then we steal all the gold and get more cards. Hopefully this works. Well, it can only work. We win. We strike the rifle before she can do anything. We won. So... Ha! Good stuff. You go... Oh, uh, okay. Sorry, my bad. There really should be a well-played option here. Coming. Really, a well-played option. At least... Give the opponent some credits because they did fall well. They did fall well. And they learned me something new, which is always good. And again, two crafting sapphires. You get more crafting sapphires with a bronze chest. Now they will up the rewards for as far as I know. And I think that's gonna be in the next update on Tuesday. So 
We'll see. We'll see what will change. The drinks are on me at the Blue Moon Inn tonight. Uh, Ozan, you won't have enough money for that, so no drinks. No drinks. <laughs> and crafting token once we reach level 24. Nice. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like or comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all my daily uploads. And for now, hope you all have a very nice day. Have fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!